Welcome to Frico Place Rome Total War 2 in God Mode, Athens 2, Episode 10. This is the Battle of Britain campaign number 2. This is the Battle of Camulodunum. Our lives are defined by battles, and most of those battles, nearly all of them, have been manipulated by kings and queens of the realm. Her there, let us just say, amusement. We're in pause mode right now, ladies and gentlemen. And the reason we're in pause mode is because I really don't want you to miss our guy's speech. Our general's speech. So welcome to Frico Plays Rome Total War 2 in God Mode, where I take my Athenian empiring to the next freakowing level in this episode of Rakus Vanqu Rakus's vanquishers find themselves facing the distinct possibility of being vanquished in their home settlement of Canulodunum. Now we have on our side the great Basilius Cremonides. He leads the newly vamped SG-1 with a heavy cavalry reserve unit that has yet to taste blood in battle. And that's the Heavy Cav 1, led by General Cordros. I don't know how much he'll be tested in this battle. He's really just going to be in a mopping up kind of manner. So good, good, good safe way for him to get his feet wet. Let's see what he's made of. Will Cremonides cement his position as the head of the Battle of Britain? Or will Alexandros, rebuffed, from this main assault in a late change, have an opening to challenge the throne. So what I figured was I initially had Alexandros as a backup, and Alexandros has more artillery. He's he's a siege. Well, he's a siege unit. He's a siege army, and I have this heavy cab that I've been meaning to try. So I made the switch now. I know it was not a slight on Alexandros, although at the same time, I also took some of Alexandros' choice troops and I moved them over to Cremonides at Cremonides' behest. So I think that there may be some issue there sometime later down. I'm, I gotta, I'm gotta, probably going to have to give Alexandros. I mean, he doesn't understand, I'm sure, but... It really it is not personal. I am incredibly impressed with him. And I tell you, Cremonides, you better watch your back because Alexandros has got mad skills. So let's see how Cremonides does here. But we want to we want to zoom in on, on our... Uh, where's our cavalry guys at? I think they're over here. I think this is where our general is. Where's our general? I want to make sure that we are on our general. I think this is... Where's our general? <clears throat> I'm still not fully familiar with the universe as of yet, so I'm sure that there's a, a thing that I'm missing. See, I thought that meant that's the general right there, but let me see. The Paeus Lancers? No. Where's my general? All right. He's not over. He is He is a man of the people. He is he is a, a lancer though. He, okay, I think that is him though. All right, well, let's find out. I have come to battle like my forefathers in the expectation of victory. We will go over those walls and into their streets and homes. We will leave nothing but tears. Okay. That sounded uh, that, short and sweet. All right, Cremonides, I get your style. All right, I get you. Ain't nothing wrong with that. There you go. You just so what? I think what you're doing is uh, he's expecting a wall to break. He's that confident in his artillery's there. And he's expecting there to be a there. It is already, and so. Let's see if he's going to charge in or if he's going to be patient. I'm anxious to see. And it looks like he's being patient and he's putting 
cavalry up in place to just, for defensive purposes, just, just garden the heavy onikers that are just battering, just battering. Now, if we were not invincibles, we would most likely be taking that tower out first. But since we don't have to worry about these pesky arrows, we know it's good. So there you go. So there you go. That's that's a good good early sign of Carmonides. He put himself right up in the front. Good. Oh, oh, we got some ac action here. Let's see if, oh, oh, we got a little. So these guys scurried out for a little bit, and then he scurried back in. Let's see what happens. Arrows coming down. Moving his arrows up. Let's see, where, what do we got going on over here? Okay, you guys are just sitting here. All right, Kermonides. Let's see what you're going. All right. I tell you what, let's get a let's get a little uh, lay of the land here and check it out as we. Uh... Oh, okay, it moves like this too. Okay. So, so here's where all the action is, and then everything over here. This is just basically just don't want to make sure you get anything coming over here laying anything down here and then we're getting our reserves I'm assuming are our reserves coming in yeah oh here we go that's what these guys are so these guys are are this is the heavy cavalry the heavy cav unit this is an all cavalry unit as a reserve so this is a new a, a new uh, this is this is all by 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 Cremonides, so let's see how well he does with this but i'd say right now he is being really patient and no i don't even think too patient he's he's uh moving his heavy onagers up though. i don't know what that's about hmm. let's see what's going on he's still firing oh he's moving him up to get closer shots All right, we're still breaking down walls. I'm hoping this isn't big enough. A hole? You want a huge hole? You don't want a choke point. And as you break up the hole, you move your troops in for. To, you're thinking defensively. You don't want to get them out of that hole. You want to keep them in the hole. This is a keep them in the hole kind of strategy is what's going on. You create the hole. You're creating their necessity to send troops out in an onslaught. An onslaught. And that's what they're facing now. It's only a matter of time. They're getting battered. Let's see what happens with these guys. Let, let's hitch a ride with them. All right. Let's see what you do. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. You're getting hammered. You're getting hammered. Oh, oh, there goes your tower. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Oh, crap. Look, there's their horses. Oh, look, it's the, that's the horse. And look, they're just, they're not moving in. They're just, they're just hitting you. These are those new troops that I brought in. These are the Germanic uh, uh, cavalry. And they have missiles. Oh, and, and oh gosh, oh gosh, they are getting. Oh, uh, can you imagine? Be, oh man. Oh, this is not good. Oh. I mean, it's not even. It's not a fair fight, and I don't want it to be. And neither does Carmonides. Ah. Uh, this camera person is a brave soul. Oh, oh, oh. I think I think somebody picked up the camera. I think the camera person is dead. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh gosh! Look, all of them dead. All of them. How many people are left? They're getting slaughtered. They're getting just hammered. Ah, uh, and they're no more. A whole unit wiped out by artillery. Just intense. See that? And that's the general strategy. That's why these. Wow, these horse artillery guys, the, they're, they're, they're missiles. They're not artillery, but they're also fairly decent with melee. So, 
That is awesome. Oh, look, these guys getting away. Let's see how far they go. Oh. Uh, I don't know why we're here, but okay. How you guys like this? Whoa. I like seeing that. So you move those artillery up closer. Interesting. Bold move. Look at that. These guys. <coughs> Just coming up here again at this. We created a choke point. They have to try to get through. And just more barrages. Just you keep sending guys up. And we'll just keep slaughtering you. <clears throat> oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Get down, he says. To what end? Oh. To what end? You're getting hammered. Oh, they're already dead. And they broke. And they broke. And they broke. Wow. Just brutal. I mean, the, oh, we got some action going on over here. This is interesting. Closing in. Wow. They're landing. Let's hit your ride with these guys. No, I want to hit your ride with these guys. I want to see what happens with these guys. All right, we're the first out of the boat. The first boat, at least. I, I was hoping we'd be the first out, but whatever. Why can't we be the first out? I don't like being the last. Well, I mean, if I was these guys for real, I would. would. Come on, guy. Why are they? Oh, that's terrible. Look at the guys that they're sending up against us. Look at the guys. Look, there's some invisibles over there. They're waiting to become. They're going to become, maybe. They're thinking about it. They're still not being seen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what's going on? Um, this doesn't look good. Oh, look, nobody's noticed us. Look, what do we do? Do we charge? Do we get the heavy onagers? Look, nobody's noticed us. Uh-oh. Wait a second. Um, this could be bad. You guys, are we going to charge those horses? Because I think that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Bad idea. Why did we land here? This is a bad. Look, those are horses. We're guys. With, with, we don't even have shirts on. For the love of God, we don't even have shirts on. <laughs> this is a. Oh, I did. I got killed. I'm already dead. I'm already dead. I died. You know he died, right? He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's he's. Dead. Oh, oh, are we gonna? Oh, 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 come on, come on. Where is he at? Where is he at? All right. Oh, we're fighting. We're still fighting. Look at the shirt. Oh, and they're dead. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. Just like that. They land. They die. They land. They die. They land. They die. They land. They die. Did these guys land just to be like, yo, man, forget this. Look. All right, let's go get them. All right, let's go. Let's let's hit a ride with you guys. All right. All right. Hey, man. All right, wait, wait. I don't want to be with you. I don't No, No offense. I didn't mean it like that. That sounded mean. I didn't. I really. I mean, these are my own guys, and I, 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 I'm not preferring you. It's just for, for film reasons. And these guys. Oh, come on. All right, come on now. Don't you, you do that again, and I, I hate you. Come on. I, I, are you not? Are you, are these Are these guys? Look, oh, my gosh. I can't believe this. This is what happened. So these guys, they landed. They went up here. They got up here somehow. And then they were like, yo, man, let's just leave. And then they're like, oh, man, dude. This is a stupid way to go back. Did you remember? I didn't even. I didn't know this was here. Did you know this was here? I didn't know this was here. You guys realized this means we're all boned, right? Look at us. We are shirtless against the land of freaking giants. 
Why didn't we just agree to their terms and let them? They were going to give us a McDonald's. We would have had a McDonald's. You idiots. And now we're going to die. Look at this. Shirtless. Shirt. We're going to die shirtless against horses in the snow. My. Oh, touch you. Oh. Uh, everything is meaningless. We are all nihilist now, brothers. We are all nihilist now. Yep, life is absurd, isn't it? You yeah, sure is, Frank. Sure is, Frank. All righty, marching to our deaths. <laughs> all right. Let's go get this Honiger and uh, mess with it or do something. Look at this. We're doing stuff. Look, we're doing stuff. Look, look, we're pant. We're hey, hey. We don't have shirts on, but we're doing stuff. We don't have shirts on, but we're doing stuff. All right. They're not, they're, you know, ironically enough, they have pants. Nobody else's pants but them. But yet they don't have shirts. I don't know what you guys think you're going to do against the Onagers, though. And here comes the cavalry. And there goes those guys. And those guys are dead. All righty. All righty. All righty. All righty. Good guys. Good guys. Good, good. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> and, and and then they're just... He's, he's attempting to move the heavy onagers up. Now, where is our general? Oh, oh, these guys. Let's check these guys out. No. Stop it. All righty. Well, at least if I accidentally go back. All right. Hey, I, hey I'm on a goop. We're doing something. We're doing something. Whoa, we're getting rained on. I don't like that. That's nice. Not, that's not nice. Oh, wait. We're down here. Whoa, we're just coming in. We're just coming in. I can move through trees sometimes. I'm not going to lie. It's a skill. It's a valuable skill. Look at look at us move up systematically. Look at this. Into the breach. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go in. You know what we're doing? We're going we're going for the victory. Once we saw fundamentally they're broken, we're just going right for it. This is the general's forces moving up. So we're we're just moving on up with the general's forces. Hey, you see him up here. There we go. Yeah, let's go. Keep going. See? We're taking stuff. That's our general leading the charge. And there they go. Look, see him running off? See him running off? They evacuated it. They evacuated it. And look at that. It's down. And there it is. And that was Cremonides leading the charge in. That was Cremonides, folks. You rode along with Cremonides' men to victory. You did that. We rode with Cremonides. I am very proud of Cremonides. I think he handled that very well. I would say at this point, it's, it's pretty much his title of siege expert. Well... I think I think it's well warranted because he handled that like a pro. He 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 was very economical and very ruthless, <clears throat> and and when he saw the chance to, to to cut the throat, he cut the throat. And you imagine now within that city, all those walls. The only breach in those walls is that breach that we control. So all of those forces. A lot of these guys are going to become us pretty quickly. A lot of they, they probably won it to in the middle of the battle. I'm sure they're looking like, oh man, 
yeah, they they look good. I'm not gonna lie, man. They look good. You know, I look good in blue. I look good in the blue, baby. And then, and then, you know, I think we get a lot of recruits. So, I think we get a lot of goodwill in the end after we we rebuild the city a, a little bit. And I tell you what, I'm gonna do for you because I know I know sometimes it helps for you to see this because you see the slaughter. And you don't see the, the, the goodness of, of why it is that we do the slaughter. We do it for the people. We do it for this. Watch this right here. We're gonna we're gonna do this for you. Watch this. You're gonna love this. This isn't something that I would necessarily normally show during a battle video, but I think it's important for me to uh, to extend myself to you so that you see the the humanity in what Emperor Frico, your Emperor Frico does, in service to, dare I say it, the people. Nay, shan't I say it? Won't I say it? Could? Yes, I say it for the people. So watch this, benevolence. See this? See this right here? Look at this. Boom! Metropolis. What's this? Trading post? Dry dock? Docks? Yeah, yeah. Alright, we'll go dry dock. Yeah, we'll go dry dock. It's all military all the time. So, wherever you can, first thing you do is build militaries wherever you're at. Because you never know. I don't want any of those guys. Screw you. And these yep, siege weapons, absolutely. Whenever you can build siege weapons, you do that. Look at this. You know, I'm not going to rebuild all of this yet. I just want to show you. See, normally, I don't do that yet. But I do that to show you. This is what's coming their way, my friends. This is what's coming their way. They have already, since we have joined, look at that. You see that, 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 that dust rising? That is rebuilding already happening. They've already extended another square. We did that. We moved in and we did that, my friends. So I think that, that, that some of you out there who may be wishing to judge our actions may look at that and realize, except for the people who are dead, it's it's better off. Everybody else is way better off. It's just it's just the truth. Yes, I I want to overwrite. I want to overwrite this because I want to make sure that I have this saved. For so see see I did that for you the people. Okay, I'm gonna make them a solid solid military town. Their their boys and girls will be able to build up wonderful wonderful lives within the constructs of the usefulness of the of the militaries that we need them ultimately to produce for us so so it's a win-win it's a win-win it's a win-win and on that front let's just look and get ready for the next battle and the next battle is going to be well, let's look here where are we where are we scheduled to go the battle of Eldion. now now let's get We, we are bringing our, our man uh, Cremonides down. We are building him up. As long as he keeps performing, there is no reason to pull him out of the lead. So we're going to bring him up. At least we're going to bring him up. Now, initially... So I think I might start to do this. This might be something I do regularly. I don't know. Okay, so initially... I'm going to save this now as this is pre pre aisle. I'll call this pre aisle. So this is a scouting scouting r w uh, effort here. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to Oh man, that, that uh who am I going to have as the backup here? I'm not sure. I, th I think I'm going to use the field reserves the this time. I have foot soldiers here, and I may need... 
I don't know. I may I may I may call these guys up for this one. Yeah. When you're in god mode and you can move all your guys, you can do it such wonderful ranges of things in the course of one turn. So basically I have I have all but four of my militaries. I have six armies and all five of my navies over here in Britain. And before this turn is over, I will probably have troopers already back at home. And I'll show you the empire that I'm going to be building or that I'm going to be expanding to. And I will be once I once I take these two remaining areas then I'm going to consolidate I'm going to get all the cities up to par and stuff and then I'm going to do a little exploring and, uh, and I have now I can create 12 armies so I'm going to have I'm going to keep my four defensive militaries right where they're at and I'm probably going to leave one defensive military here and probably two uh, a defensive navy over here and then after that then the strategy will be to go into this region right here we're going to cut through this region hopefully rome hasn't taken any well if they have that'll be cool too but hopefully that rome hasn't taken anything and then this if and when we're done if we get to this level that is the point when we're going to start to look at those other four empires but for now we're still not there so I want to make sure my field guy, the 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 trick to make sure that uh, that your haste, reserves are who orders. you want them to be, or that they're close enough, is to make sure the one in reserve is up close as you possibly can to the city before invading, and then the troop you want to invade, which this in this case is commodities. By the way, I think this time, I, I think we're going to try to to group those uh, those. Uh, onagers all together keep them as one unit concentrated more easily i think that's probably the best way but, but. so what we're going to do is we're going to go in and i just want to see where the reserves come in that's all i want to see is where the reserves come in and what it looks like to be a land battle and then I'm just gonna check also to see what it looks like to see it be a sea battle like if they had a big big really impressive Navy I would probably do the Navy first but I don't think they do so let's just start deployment and then we're starting battle we're not I'm not actually this is not the, the, the actual battle I'm just waiting to see when my my reserves come in and where they come in so I'm enemy right here. Approaching. Oh, and I'll learn where the enemy for reinforcements are coming. Okay, so. Oh, wow. Well, that is really awesome. So in this case, my, my enemy, my reinforcements are going to come right from behind. So that also makes me... One of the reasons that I did not in the last battle have the backup be the, the SG-2 unit the Alexandros unit was because they were so far away it would have been forever before they got to the bottom with those heavy onagers so I chose to use the all cavalry unit that's one of the reasons why I have a cavalry unit because I can get it up there quickly for when I think I can breach walls and then they can fill quickly because they can be used effectively once they get inside cities and just maul people maul them so that's where that they're coming in right behind. So that's really excellent. Now the I really hope that this ends up being the oh this is broken up here, but not really much to get in. So I'm looking here now. I'm not even doing anything. I'm not trying to do anything right now. So there's walls here. I would okay. So this is a good area. That's an uphill. Hmm, I don't like that. So, so, so let me see this. All right, just skirting through and seeing. Now, I'm, I don't know if I could get, sometimes you can get back here, but honestly, 
Like if I was going anywhere, this is where I'd come in. This is much easier for me to manage going uphill. And, and I can easily, I think I can easily defend myself from the back here. I can put some guys here, put some guys up there. Easily defendable. This is the area to set up. So, so let me go back. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go back and I'm going to go in. And this time, what I'm going to be looking for is to see. Where, where I could set up. So I'm going to go to the start deployment. And I'm going to see where I might set up. And I'll actually, I'll probably actually start, I'm not actually going to record this part, but I'll probably start the deployment then. All right, let me just. All right. Yeah, we're not going to watch the, there we go. There we go. All right. So now we know our guys come up from the top. But that also, you know what? I'm, I'm going to stop it here and I'm, I'm going to go do that little thing by myself. And I have to make a switch because of the fact that the guys are coming in from far. Well, actually, they're coming in from close enough that. Well, yeah, I, I think that I could actually maybe possibly manage them in time to to. To, to, to set their own artillery stuff up and then I, I don't really like doing that no I don't really like creating more stuff to defend so I'll probably switch them out for the art for the cavalry again that's what I'm gonna do because because the cavalry will get over to where I want them to be and I want I want to keep the battle points where I want them to be so I can define them and and slaughter them all righty then and with that note, thank you for joining us here on Frico Plays Rome Total War 2 in God Mode, the Athens 2 edition. Join us in this next episode when we fight what will hopefully, well, well this will be the last battle of Britain. And that it, it is going to be the Battle of Isca. It's going to be a pretty big battle, too. Promises to be a huge battle. Actually... What am I saying? The next battle is this battle. We haven't done this yet. <laughs> I got well, I got ahead of myself. Woo! Nope, the next battle is the Battle of Ilden. And we've been planning a little bit here. We'll, we'll, we'll see on the next uh, Frico Plays God Mode.